Welcome to Historical Saga. Amidst the brawling Viking fighters, treacherous nobles, and conniving rulers who star in Vikings Valhalla, one character stands out as stronger than the rest, the tough, vengeance-seeking female warrior Freydis Eriksdotter, played by Frida Gustafsson. We first meet her as she seeks revenge on the man who raped and scarred her. She has a cross carved into her back years before. Her killing skills grow throughout the series as she dispatches her rapist, followed by a berserker attacker who murders her friends. Freydis then trains to be a shield maiden, a Scandinavian warrior in Kattegat, something which comes in very handy when the city falls under attack. She even manages to defeat the evil Kerr in a gory fight and behead him just to make sure he's really dead in the season finale. But even that isn't quite as bloodthirsty as some of the adventures that the real Freydis got up to in the 10th century. The daughter of Eric the Red, who had a reputation for the occasional brutal killing himself, and sister of explorer Leif Erikson, historians disagree as to whether they were full siblings or had different mothers. The real Freydis was born around 970, and her exploits were recorded in two Viking sagas, the Saga of the Greenlanders and the Saga of Eric the Red. Hey, meanwhile, thank you for hitting subscribe and like. That really helps us and we appreciate it. In the Eric the Red story, which recounts the adventures of Norse explorers to Vinland, now believed to be Newfoundland, the Vikings are attacked by native inhabitants and try to escape, but a heavily pregnant Freydis is unable to keep up, so bravely stands her grounds and defends herself. According to Norse historian Dr. Johanna Katrin Friedrich's daughter, this involves Freydis picking up a sword from one of her slain countrymen, fearlessly brandishing it at her attackers, and then pounding it against a naked breast, which scares them enough that they turn around and head for the hills. The Greenlander's story, however, focuses less on Freydis' bravery and more on her savagery, featuring a story so gruesome it's unlikely to make it into a future season of Vikings Valhalla. In this version, Freydis plotted against her fellow travelers to Vinland, bringing more people on the journey than the other men so that she had a larger force. When infighting broke out, or in another translation she simply got angry because they wouldn't do what she wanted, Freydis commanded her warriors to tie up and kill the men in the other group, which they did. Apparently, her men drew the line at killing the women who remained alive, but Freydis had no such qualms and butchered them all with an axe. She then threatened everyone there with death if they talked about the murders, adding to her fierce reputation. Of course, both these sagas were written hundreds of years after Freydis was supposed to have lived and were written by authors who may have had their own agenda in depicting her as a ruthless warrior, as Vikings Valhalla creator Jeb Stewart explained exclusively. What we know of Freydis comes from the sagas, and remember that those sagas were written 200 years after the fact, they weren't written at the time, and they were written by Christians looking back, Stuart says. We know Freydis was an uber-pagan. She never changed over to Christianity, and just like her father, held on to those old ways. So you have to look back at what we know about Freydis through that lens of a Christian looking back and trying to paint a picture of a wild woman, barbaric in many ways. There are a couple of different renderings of Freydis in the sagas, and I'm trying to pull more about that powerful woman who had incredible bravery, and I also needed to find ways to dramatize the fearless, pagan aspect of her. Frida Gustafsson, meanwhile, who plays Freydis, was keen to portray the female warrior as a brave woman who had survived great hardship. She said, To understand the character, you try to vividly imagine how it is to grow up in a small community on the outskirts of the world where you probably never have had a day in your life that's easy, where you have to hunt for your own food, every day you're cold, it is difficult to have heating, she says. To me, that was the way to approach the character. Would it make you be stronger? Vikings Valhalla's version of Freydis is certainly strong, if not quite as savage as the sagas portray her. The first season ended with her escaping the storming of the city of Katgat with her lover, Harald. Historians don't believe the two had a relationship in real life, however. So we will have season two to discover whether the attack on her mentor, Jarl Hakon, and Freydis' decapitation of Kari have been enough to send her further over to the dark side and closer to the legendary stories of the bloody female warrior of the Viking sagas. Well guys, unfortunately the information we have for this dramatic and strong Viking woman is very short. 
but we're sure she's dedicated to adventure. Let me know in the comments what topic we should cover next. Thank you for watching, take care, and till next time.